happy Sunday and it is what sold Sunday um, I know I didn't do one last week and I'm sorry but I only sold about four items and I didn't feel like that was worth a whole video <laughs> so this will be a two-week what sold um, from May 31st till today which is June 13th um, I decided to do it this way I'm actually using my computer to which is now a lab or a tablet uh, to um, go over everything that's sold and I'll pop a picture up over here hi I am dollar dr. Jennifer sorry for that um, I am a full-time veterinarian and a part-time reseller and I've been trying to list a little bit more consistently to try and get more sales and it maybe is working we'll see the next couple weeks um, but if you enjoy reseller content uh, if you enjoy thrift hauls, thrift with me's. I do what sold video most weeks. Um, I do have a really fun uh, series called Throwback Thursday, which I'll be doing at least once a month, possibly twice a month. And um, I've got a couple smattering of other things. This week I should be having a um, update on the Poshmark sharing tool coming out. Hopefully I am working five days this week, so it's going to be a little bit harder for me to get the videos up but my video for tomorrow is already set so you will see um, what my second box I am sending to thread up um, they actually just got it today so um, we'll see how long it takes to process etc but I will show you in the video what I'm sending and then as per my last thread up uh, send in I will show you what they accepted and then eventually what sold so uh, stay tuned for that tomorrow. That should be coming out tomorrow morning at some point. And so today is our what sold. Like like I was saying, subscribe to my channel. Please like this video if you are interested in any of this content. Um, I am trying to hit a thousand subscribers this year. That is one of my goals. So, and thank you for watching because I'm awkward and hilarious and everyone needs a little bit of that in their life. <laughs> anyway on to what's sold because that's why you're here so um like i said the week before was not so great this week has gotten a little bit better um i did sell a very large bundle yesterday um not sure how that's gonna go in the long run and that's all i will say about that because i've been dealing with that today so starting with um May 31st, I had two sales that day. Um, this Universal Thread Chambray, oops, Chambray Blue Ruffle Dress, size small, really cute. It sold for $21. Um, I ended up making $14.50 after fees and cost of goods. And it only took two days to sell, so I was really super excited about that. Um, I don't know what it is, but Universal Threads seems to be a good brand, even though it's Target. I don't know, I've had good luck with it, so take it for what it's worth. <laughs> Next, I sold this Express Genuine Leather Belt. Um, it was a size medium, and the, the buckle had some floral detail to it. It was really cute. Um, it actually did sell full price at $25, but it did take 165 days to sell. So um, I would probably still pick it up again because I did get it at the bins, so it doesn't weigh very much. And um, I did end up making $19.05 on it. So I was super happy with that. Okay, and then June 2nd, well, June 1st, Wah, wah, zero sales um, June 2nd we had one sale I sold this wild thing Moshi monster blue t-shirt size extra large it sold for $12 um, someone sent me an offer that I accepted and I ended up making $8.80 and this took 26 days to sell um, that was something I picked up at my honey cola <laughs> so um, next was from our men's blue box uh, the only thing that's sold so far from the men's blue box 
It did sell full price. They were these Champion Mesh Shorts Elastic Waistband, size 2XL. Um, they did sell for $18, which was full price, and I made $12.94, and they took 18 days to sell. Um, I've heard that these Mesh Champion Shorts are like a thing right now, so if you see them, especially look like at the bins, I would definitely pick them up. So that's just me. Still waiting for something else to sell to make all of my money back on that box. <laughs> and then I sold this British Vintage Boxing 1963 gray t-shirt, size 2XL. This is something I picked up in Florida when I went to visit my family. Um, this sold for $15 on an offer. Um, it took 49 days to sell and I ended up making $11.10. So I was pretty happy with that. Then I sold this O'Neill Flint Gray Quick Dry UV Protect shirt size 2XL. This was new with tags, bins find. Um, this sold for $24 with a shipping discount. And um, I ended up making $16.87 and it took 89 days to sell. Not too shabby. Next, this was also a Florida pickup. This is this Ambriel Gray Cotton Lightly Lined Demi Bra, size 38B. And this um, actually sold in 30 days after listing. It sold for $12 on an offer. And um, I ended up making $8.15, which for something that literally weighs nothing, I'm okay with. So... Next was this Peter Grimm Red Tribal Addison Baseball Hat, Aztec print. Um, this was a Goodwill, regular Goodwill find, and so I did pay up just slightly for it. And um, it sold for $20 on an offer, which I accepted. I ended up making $14.41, and it took 106 days to sell. I would probably still pick it up again, definitely if it was in the bins. I'm not sure how much I would pay up for it though. Just because, <coughs> excuse me, it took a little while to sell. Caffeine break. <laughs> Next, love this one. This was also a bins find. This Garfield plush soft backpack, zipper closure on the bottom. It also sold for $20 on an offer, and I just realized I'm not telling you the dates anymore. Whoops. Um, uh, it sold for $20 on an offer. I ended up making $15.20, and it took 13 days to sell, so definitely pick that up again. Um, so I made sales on June 2nd, 3rd. No sales on the 4th. I made sales on the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, and that's where we're at now is June 7th. And we're about to go to June 8th, where I had four sales, it looks like. Um, first sale on the 8th was this Under Armour open back front cardigan, size medium hoodie. Um, this was actually from St. Michael's bag, fill a bag sale. So um, they made me an offer of $20, which I happily accepted. Um, and I made $15.72, and this took 48 days to sell. Uh, then I sold this <laughs> mug. It's been a while. I've been getting a little worried that my mugs were no longer a thing, but I did sell a mug um, on the, June 8th, and it said, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, um, and it was in really good condition. It sold um, full price for $15. I ended up making $11.75 on it, and it took 105 days to sell. Um, I haven't had a lot of mug action lately. Maybe I need to add some more. I do have one more I haven't listed yet, but um, I just haven't seen as much action on that lately. And then I sold these Chico's Ultimate Fit Bermuda Shorts. They're yellow, size zero, zero. Um, these sold on an offer for $10. I was happy to just get rid of them, honestly, and I honestly, I bought them for a dollar. So I ended up making $6.05, and they took 282 days to sell. So I was said, P 
peace out to them. <laughs> um, and then I sold, the last thing I sold on the 8th was this Victoria's Secret Black Halter Tankini Top. And it was a size large. It sold on an offer. They offered 18, which I accepted. I made $13.65. And that sold three days after listing it, which is why I was okay with taking that offer. Um, that was something actually I picked up when I was in Wisconsin. Then computer problems uh, un momento por favor <laughs> all right and then i sold these oakley um multicolored board short striped size 36 these are from my honey home um they sold for 25 dollars um, I ended up making $18 on these and they um, took 40 days to sell. I think it was an offer as well because there's no shipping discount. And then next were these New York and Company embellished jean shorts, size 10. These um, were consignment for a friend, so we shared profits. So they sold for $15, so I ended up making six and they've been listed for quite a while. Then I sold this really fun Claire's Faux Leather Fringe Fanny Pack Black. Um, this sold on an offer for $13. So I ended up making $9.07. It did take 178 days to sell, which I'm actually very surprised at. I thought it would sell a lot faster than that. And then we have our 12, 12 piece bundle offer, our 12 piece bundle sale. Um, so the next 12 items sold for $218 total. So I'll go through and say each, you know, like what I made on each item and then how long they took to sell. And hopefully the sale goes through. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, first for these American Eagle tie dye coin ruffle shorts. Um, I made $13.65. They took two days to sell after listing them. Then I sold this Airy Cream Sheer Blouse um, with gold polka dots, size small. This, um, I made $13.63. This took 174 days to sell. Um, and then I sold this Pink Victoria's Secret Black Ultimate Sports Bra. This took two days to sell and I made $13.88. Um, this Victoria's Secret Hearts Pajama Long Sleeve Shirt Extra Large 13, made $13.69 and it took 142 days to sell. Um, a friend gave me this, so split co uh, profits with her. This Coach White Cream Hard Back um, Glasses Case. Um, I made $7.53 and I had had it listed for quite a while. And then I sold this wet seal velvet bodycon dress, size extra small. It was purple, really cute. Um, and I made $13.73. It not only took 14 days to sell. Um, and then I sold this Occasion Skull reusable grocery bag, silver. Um, this took 241 days to sell. I made $13.77. And then I sold this Zara basic embroidered chiffon dress, size medium. Um, this took 233 days to sell. I made $13.28. Um, and then I sold this gold owl brooch. That was my grandmother's. I, I used to like hoard brooches when I was a kid. I don't know. And so like when my parents moved, they gave me all my stuff from my childhood bedroom and I just had like a box of pins and brooches and so I've been selling them off I do still have quite a few listed <clears throat> and I have a couple I think that are going to be in um I have a like jewelry repurpose box listed right now in my closet um and so there's a there's a few of them in there too um hold on I moved my thing again okay I made, so I made $14.53 and I'd had that listed for a while. 
And then this is also from my childhood. It was a copper colored uh, metal belt, Southwest feel to it. Um, also, also $14.53, and it had also been listed for a while. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I sold this Shine Butterfly Patch Back Bomber Jacket, size extra small. I made $13.70, and I had this listed for 114 days. And then um, lastly, I sold this Torrid Minnie Mouse <clears throat> beanie hat. And it made $13.73, and I've been listed for 18 days. So that was the bundle. And then today I made four sales, which I have not sent out yet. <clears throat> so I will go over those. I did add those for this week's. Oh, no. I keep hitting stuff. I keep, because it's a tablet. <laughs> anyway, so today I sold this Athleta Fast Finish Fast. Space Dye Tea Stripes Medium. Um, this sold for $25 with a shipping discount. I made $17.57 and it took 149 days to sell. Um, I then sold this Eric Church Concert T-shirt. Um, oh my gosh, I'm having a lot of issues here. <clears throat> Smoke Skeleton Size Medium. This sold for $20 with a shipping discount. I made $13.60 and this took 56 days to sell. This was also from the Florida trip. And then I sold this sugar and cream tie-dye sand color halter dress. These are new with tags. I still have a couple more available. Um, this sold for $20 on closet clear out today. And um, this took over 200 days to sell, and I made $15.04. And lastly, on another offer for $12, I sold these Franco Sardo Silas Heel um, Sandal Bright Mustard, size 9.5. Um, I made $8.25 on these. They took 252 days to sell. So I was debating about countering, and then I was like, you're going to make some money and just get rid of them. So I just accepted it. So you're welcome. I don't know who bought it, but you're welcome. Because <laughs> um, I did want to make more on those sandals, but you know, it is what it is. So those were my sales for the last two weeks. Um, I mean, I'm happy that they're starting to pick up. I <clears throat> hope it's due to me listing more frequently. I've been trying to do it almost every day. Um, I do relist occasionally as well, especially if I'm sending out offers and I'm realizing that it's hit a wall, like you can't send them offers anymore. So uh, we'll see. With this week coming up, it's going to be hard for me to list every day depending on how many surgeries I have. Like I know tomorrow I've got like 31 to do. So... It's gonna be a long day so we'll see how much I get listed I did just list a couple things today um, some free people jeans and a really cute friends long sleeve shirt that says you're my lobster um, those are from my last haul that you saw so I have listed a lot of those jeans um, I think I've listed no I've got one more pair of jeans to list today but I've listed almost a lot of the stuff from the last haul you saw this this past week. Um, so definitely check out my closet. I'm trying to get new stuff up. I still have really good old stuff too. <laughs> so definitely check it out. Um, I hope you guys had a great week and had a, a lot of sales. I will see you tomorrow for the new thread up send out and then later in the week for a Poshmark sharing tool update. So stay tuned for that. Uh, they have added some things, so it's kind of fun and a lot easier to use in some ways. And I'll go over that on Thursday, hopefully. So, <clears throat> and then of course we'll have a what sold hopefully again. Hopefully we have sales. <laughs> so have a great rest of your weekend and I will see you next time. And remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered. Bye, guys.